All right, I'm just going to do the basic setup and reason that I use, the workflow that I use for pretty much everything I do. I think it does a good job of covering at least most of the bases. A lot of times I see people, they come in here and they grab the default mixer in Reason and they just start plugging stuff into it, creating devices, creating instruments, and then they run out of slots and they create another mixer and do the same thing. And that's cool if you're trying to do something really quick, but it can be a mess and you also don't have as much control that way. Alright, so here what I do first is I go into the Mastering Suite, Show Devices, I create a reverb at the end of this. Right click Create. And I like to use this one. I like to use this preset here and I turn these down because I just want something subtle to start with at least. Um, my EQ usually looks something like this. I turn my compressor on and again this is just a starting point for, for the default project that I'm setting up. Now this mixer here will be my final mixer. And first I create another mixer for the drums, I hold shift and create that. Call that drums mixer. All right, and I want to make sure that this goes into the first, whoops, goes into the first input of my final mixer, so I have control here in relation to the other mixers that I'm gonna plug in. Alright, now going into the drums mixer, I'm gonna hold shift, right click, create a redrum. Alright, and I want each channel of the redrum to go into the corresponding channel of the drums mixer that I created for these sounds. All right, and I do this for all of them, all the way up to ten. Bink. All right, so now I have ex more explicit control over the sounds that are coming out of here instead of just the levels, uh, the level knobs and, and these other knobs right here. I have the levels up here, and also I can plug in other devices. So first, I'm going to select the redrum device, hold shift, right click, create a Presser. Okay, and this is going to be for the bass drum. Usually, I always have the bass drum in this first lot. Let's abbreviate that. All right, so instead of going into the mixer immediately, I want this bass drum to go into the compressor. All right, and then I also want to right-click, create an EQ for that label it right away because there's going to be a lot of stuff um, and sometimes I like to create a limiter for this maximize it label it now this is the final output of the drum of the bass drum all right and I want this going into this first input into the drums mixer all right and everything is labeled BD the, the last one says BD max and up here we see this is the BD max so we know that we came from the read from this first channel of the read drum, went into the compressor, into the EQ, and then into the maximizer, and finally from the maximizer back up into this mixer here where we have control. All right, let's get these out of the way. Oh, first, um, I do set this up as a starting point. It looks a little bit like that, and for the EQ as a starting point, set it up about like that. Right. Uh, now, get these out of the way. Now I do the same thing for the snare drum. Hold shift, right click, create a compressor. Label it right away. Whoops. There's my snare drum right here to the snare drum compressor, All right, and then I create an EQ for that. I don't create a maximizer for this. All right, here's the final output of the snare drum, and I want that going into this second input of my drums mixer. Uh, that's just the way I think, bass, snare, uh, hi-hats, or maybe something else. Um, I, I usually don't mess with this to start with. Uh, maybe this one. Alright, and then I do uh, maybe one or two more for a couple of other instruments, but usually they don't need much manipulation, so I just leave that alone and I just add it in later if I need to. Um, re uh, reverb usually does these instruments some good, and instead of adding reverb to instruments individually, I put the reverb up here. So I select this mixer, right click, create. 
reverb. Usually, uh, I create two of them. Uh, because maybe one of these instruments might need a little bit uh, different kind of a reverb. Um, Alright, since I had this selected when I created these, they're automatically connected to this mixer. Alright, now with this first knob, I create, I, I can control how much the first plugin affects this first sound. Okay, and with the second knob, I can affect how much the second plugin affects the sound. Alright, and that, and that applies to all the rest. Alright, so if I want know the bass drum to have a little bit of this reverb right here then I'll just go bink and if I wanted to have I don't know some other kind of echo reverb then I'll go bink all right all right now this can get to be a lot of stuff once you have I don't know six or seven different kind of drums in here so what I do is this select everything bink 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 right click combine Right, so now all of this stuff is inside of a combinator device. Here it is. It says show devices. Close that up, and I can have a nice clean uh, surface to work with. And then I want to label this drums combinator. All right, and I want to make sure that this combinator is going into this first uh, input of my final mixer. I also want to make sure that. This, this drums mixer here is going out and into this slot that says uh, from devices in the combinator. All right. Also for the drums, you might also need to use other devices like I don't know, a subtractor that you can plug into the into the re-drum or you might want to use a sound from an NNXT or something. Um, maybe there was a sound in here that you liked or that you couldn't find in the re-drum like a, I don't know, a cowbell. I don't know. Anyway, I always label these um, so that when I'm so that when I'm up up here in the mixer, I know what kind of a device it came from. Okay, because when I have a lot of stuff, I might need a reminder. All right. So anyway, we can close this back up. Now what I do is I create another mixer. Hold shift, right click, create, bink. I call this instruments mixer and depending on the situation I might want to create a mixer just for guitars or just for something else um, specifically but you know for my general template I just make an instruments mixer All right I create a couple of reverbs I don't know but you can put any effects on here you want for your template All right. And then I just leave it like this for the template. Uh, you can put it in a combinator if you want. But anyway, let's just put a couple of sounds in here. Create instrument uh, pad. Put a f big fat pad. All right. Pad. I label it Thor. Uh, let's see. Let's create another one. Yeah, some stuff has some of these have weird names, so so I always put the I always put the name of the device in the label. So I'm like Majesty. You know, when I see that, when I'm in the middle of of making something and I just see Majesty on there, I might not know what it means. So we see it's a subtractor, it'll help me remember what happened. All right. Anyway, we can combine these. And you don't have to do it this way. You can actually create a combinator first and then just insert things directly into it. Okay. So here go my drums and here go my instruments. And I want to make sure that these instruments go into the final mixer as well. So we can mix these against each other. As single entities. And I also want to make sure that this mixer here for my instruments is going into this where it says from devices. Bink. All right. Now, uh, you might also need to create another one of these for, you know, if 16 instruments isn't enough for what you're doing, you might want to create another one or create one for just pianos or one for just guitars or something like that. Or 
um, right here, uh, you might want to create one just for Dr. Rex's. Um, I often do that because the you know the way I have this set up doesn't always work for what I want to do with the, when I mix in the, the Dr. Rex. So I might also create another mixer just for that. Yay! Pink. I just call it this. My template actually does have a Rex mixer in it. Two reverbs. Like Rex 1, Rex 2, this is the Rex mixer. Alright, we can combine this. Right, so that's the setup, and then I just save this as I don't know, I name it default or something like that, and then I set it to the default song that opens up when you open up Reason. So I open Reason and I have this right away, and I just start plugging instruments in and I just start you know, creating. So and it's nice and clean, easy to work with, it's cool. All right.